When it comes to getting dressed up, almost anything a woman wears, unfortunately, from earrings to shoes, comes under close scrutiny. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. But in a man's wardrobe, it's usually one thing, mm -hmm. the necktie that invites comment. As we'll see in tonight's Look Is at Large, most of those comments come from women. Currently, I own about 25 neckties. They're a pain in the neck, literally because you have to wear them, but also because they're just one more thing for your wife to bug you about. Sad and outdated. As you might guess, my wife doesn't care for my collection. This is bad Picasso. That's just ugly. I think he's had that since 1972. Ugh. For some reason, she thinks the clothes I wear reflect on her. Because I like to think that I have pretty good taste. And then he parades out in something like this. To settle this thing, I went to a third party, maybe the finest men's clothing store in Spokane. It's almost like the shirt and tie together really is the picture and, and the suit becomes your frame. Over the last two decades, Anderson and Imami have sold miles and miles of neckties. A nice a striped tie always is good. These guys know what they're talking about. And actually, this one's fine. This one, this one here? Yep. Probably not this one, huh? Not so much. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a couple of experts who could certainly tell my wife a thing or two. Oh, God, Paisley, no. See, I didn't even, I forgot he had that one. Paisley is back in, nice. so you're totally in with that tie. Take that, Teresa. <laughs> to be fair, she doesn't hate all of my ties. This one I like, this one I like, and this one I like. She does like the ones that she picked out. This is exactly... Uh, like the type of thing we're selling right now in our store. As it turns out, so did our expert. I think any of that, of those five, would be totally in for you to wear now. Right. Teresa is definitely on target. Right. Well, that'll oh, be an I told you so like moment, that, but they didn't have to go after my all-time favorite. I don't know, it looks like footprints or amoeba. It's amoeba. Yeah, that, that wouldn't probably be one of my favorites in your collection, Rick. At first, I thought it just wasn't my day. Turns out, it's not my decade. Some of these are my, you know, tell you to keep a little bit longer until they come back again. While we wait for my ties to come back into style, we're going to have a little contest to find the ugliest necktie. We'll show you an email address coming up here. You send me a photograph of you with your ugly tie, and the one we choose is the ugliest. That winner is going to win a brand new tie up to a $75 value from right here at Anderson and Imami. Rick Lukens, KXLY4 News. So in a couple of weeks, we'll name the ugliest necktie in the Inland Northwest. Yeah, if you think you have the winning entry, email a picture to Rick Lukens at rickl at kxly.com or head to northwestconnect.com where you can not only submit your entry but vote for the tie you think is the ugliest.